if you don't push the boundaries, you don't find out where they are. You, you, you create your own boundaries. Like you, when you're doing material and you're trying to co come up with a bit, sometimes a bit in the beginning is highly offensive, but then you turn it into something that's everybody accepts and it's great. Right. This was the real argument for Louis C.K. When Louis C.K. Um, had a recording of his leaked and there was a bit where he was talking about these kids who were survivors of school shootings. He's right. like, you're not interesting just because you push some fat kid in the way. Like, <laughs> like, and you're laughing. See, he got a lot of shit for that. And yeah, people but, were, yeah, were, funny. were saying it like it's cruel. And other comics said it was hacky. And there's like, first of all, he hadn't done comedy in 10 months. Second of all, you know how comedy works. That was a seed. He's that working was not it a out. plant. He wasn't delivering a fucking origami plant or what's, no. what's those called? The little small ones. Uh, uh, what? What? Uh, what, are the what small uh, they're not origami. Bonsai. 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 He wasn't delivering a, a perfectly <laughs> trimmed bonsai. I'm like origami. Yeah. Perfectly trimmed bonsai Japanese. tree that they sell on the side of the road. Yeah. Now, this was a this is a seed. Right. Like that could have been an incredible bit because it's already kind of funny that like yeah that these people that are on television all the time are the survivors of a school shooting mm -hmm. and that they might just be survivors. They don't necessarily have to be interesting. Now, he didn't, in his defense, have any time to prepare. He had 10 months of no stand-up, then he just does stand-up, and Tough. he gets some laughs off this premise. That premise in six months could have been a fucking nuclear bomb. Right. That exposed, he would have figured out a way to expose how goofy it is that just because someone survives a massacre, we want to parade them on CNN every couple of weeks Exploit and them. ask their opinion about right. gun control and about various things. Like, he's right. Like, yeah. look, someone's going to have a fucking great bit about Greta Thunberg. It's the same thing. You got some 16 year old kid that's. Mm. You know, it's she seems weird to begin with, and then she's on TV going, "How dare you!" And you're like, "What is this?" And then you keep seeing her over and over and over again. Who's putting her on TV over and over and over again? You fucking people are like, "What are you doing?" Right. In a, in a lot of ways, it's kind of the same. Like, wh why is she interesting? Because she's 16 and dealing with climate change, as opposed to him who's 29, or her who's 50, or him who's 82. Like, what are we talking about? Just get some random person who wants to say, "How dare you about climate change?" Yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna stop going to school until someone does something about it. They're on strike. <laughs> like, what? Is this, this really what's on the news? This is a ploy for her to get out of going to school. She's like, I don't like school. They're like, you don't have to if you can sail around the world. And <laughs> I just think the whole that whole thing about they find what works for them categorically because she's a good look. Yeah. And they're like, push her, push her, push her, push her. See, that, that's why, like, when you go back to Louis's bit about the school shootings, like, yes, it's gross to make fun of someone who survived a school shooting. But that's what he does. He right. tells jokes. In the moment... You know that he's saying something that's awful that you're not supposed to say, so you laugh. It's yeah. not how he really feels. So for you and comics to pretend that that's how he really feels, like that's fucking disgusting what you're doing. Yeah, they know better. Because you, you, not only do you know, you're being deceptive, or you really don't understand comedy, in which case you should stop. Right. Just stop doing it, because you don't understand it. Like, and you also don't understand the process, or you're at least like, it, if I bet if you asked him, like, is that ready for Netflix release? He'd be like, no, no way. I haven't done comedy in ten months. I was hoping that bit would come into something. These are notes he's going off of, right? He yeah. wrote shit down. He had some ideas. Trying it out. It finally gets on stage to fuck around with it, and somebody records it and puts it on YouTube. Well, he's apparently I haven't seen him, but from the grapevine, I've heard that he's touring. He's Murdering. His new hour is murderous. Murdering. Of and I, course And I'm is. curious to know what or what platform or where he's going to go with it, right? He's got to be independent, I'm sure. I think he's going to release it on his website. Right, because people are too afraid. Yeah. And I He's can't, recording I very can't. soon. Oh, he is? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Allegedly. Maybe I know so, some. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah? Like, I, look, I want to see it. I want to see it before he records it. But listen, I mean, we could talk about him to you blue in the face. Right.